Howdy. Now as it's a bank holiday here, I thought we'd have a little bit of fun. Something relaxing and not too serious. But I remember many years ago, the old National Enquirer used to have some great headlines. And some of the stories used to have a grain of truth into it, but not much. But they were done very well. And I found a couple of headlines in a local newspaper here in the UK that kind of liked the National Enquirer headlines. The actual stories are a little bit naff, not as good as the National Enquirer, but still in all, we might get a bit of a laugh out of it. I mean, I did, but of course I'm weird, you know that. And of course I put the links down below. The first headline reads, Bloke having sex, bloke as in guy in the UK while skydiving ends up in A&E, which is emergency, fearing his penis is broken. <laughs> Quite a good headline, I think. But the story looks a bit naff. It looks like it's all been made up, really, because nobody would even know that they were having sex skydiving, unless they told somebody. And why would you? But the femon's all in on it. She loves it all and great attention. But the story itself looks to me like they've got a couple of actors or whatever just to play along. And the Femon doesn't mind that everybody knows that she's having sex while she's skydiving. No problem there. Not exactly what a princess would do, but never mind. Anyway, something went a little bit wrong and he pulled his chute or something and it didn't work and then it did work or whatever. Anyway, he ended up breaking his nose and he thought he hurt his little boy, but in actual fact he hadn't done. Of course, that goes to prove that sex is more dangerous for men than it is for femons, obviously. As my father said, it's harder to run with your trousers down than your skirt up. But this isn't a headline for the National Enquirer. I'll let you know something that I haven't told too many people. I had sex when I was scuba diving once. Forty feet down, I think it was. I didn't think it was possible. But it was. So let's move on to the other story, which I think is slightly better done. The headline reads, Pensioner impregnated, see they use that word, by aliens during abduction and left to raise E.T. baby. I don't know why this fixation is about people being abducted and they always have to be fiddled with when they get abducted, don't they? I think it's some sexual fantasy people have, isn't it? And of course, if you're an alien, you're going to take a six-year-old femon to have your baby for you. Of course you are. Anyway, look at the plastic baby, the plastic alien baby. Looks like she went and got it at Walmart. Obviously, this 68-year-old Femon is crazy as a hatter, and she could be somebody's grandmother. What a shame. And it's always funny how the aliens always seem to look the same sort of shape and the same sort of body thing. It's kind of strange. They wouldn't look like that at all. I mean, I know. I've got one in my closet. They don't look anything like that. But, of course, apparently the gestation period for this was 20 days or something like that. I don't know. I don't know whether she actually put it in there or took it out. I don't know. But she says it looks like her and she doesn't really know how it got there. But she will take care of the baby anyway and give it a good life. Of course, you've got to get PC on it as well. It's uh, a non-gender baby, by the way. So, considering it only took 20 days to gestate, in two months it'll probably grow up and move away. In six months it'll be dead of old age. Anyway, let's not think too deeply about it all. It's quite funny, really. Anyway, just a little bit of levity in this depressing world we live in. And no, I've done all this without drugs. They come later. Oh no, the cupboard door's opening. The alien is coming out. Oh, please don't violate my body. Stop doing unnecessary things to my rectum. Sorry about that. I'm just acting a bit crazy today, okay? Got a bit of time off, you know. Anyway, catch you later.